I'm not sure exactly why, but drinking water has always been a battle for me. It took me a long time to figure out how to build a habit of drinking water and actually stick to it. I knew all the benefits of drinking water and I watched countless YouTube videos on how to drink more water, how to build habits, how to make drinking water easier, all of those things, but I still just couldn't make it stick. It took a lot of trial and error, but I figured out a way for me to easily drink two litres of water every day, which is the ideal amount that I want to be drinking every day. And in this video, I am going to share all the tips and tricks that have actually helped me to build the habit of drinking more water. So the first tip is to use a bottle that makes drinking water easy. When I'm sitting at my desk, I don't even have to pick my bottle up to drink water from it. And a lot of the time I don't. Cater to the laziest version of yourself because that's probably the person that isn't drinking enough water. If you know that you will not unscrew a cap every time you want to take a drink, don't use a bottle that has a cap on it. If you know you only like drinking water that's ice cold, use a bottle that keeps your water cold for longer. If you're like me and you don't even want to pick the bottle up, use a bottle that has a straw. The less effort it takes, the more likely you are to actually drink the water. And don't try and convince yourself that you will have the discipline to do something that you know you won't do. Like I said, cater to the laziest version of yourself. The second thing is to make it easy to track your water. I drink a 500 milliliter glass of water when I wake up and then throughout the day I drink two 750 milliliter bottles of water. I don't have to try and figure out how much water a glass holds or measure it out every time I have a glass of water because I've already done that, I've already picked things that add up to the amount of water that I want to drink in a day. Plus I only have to fill my water up three times in a day compared to if I was drinking 250 ml glasses of water, I would need to go back to the kitchen and fill it up eight times. And I'm probably not gonna do that. You can go even further with this and use a bottle that has times on it. I didn't think it would, but it has honestly made a big difference for me because I would always forget to drink for like a few hours and then I would try and gulp down like half a bottle. But having the times on the bottle kind of reminds me that I need to be at the next time within an hour. Like it's just a little kind of subtle reminder that I need to keep drinking my water throughout the day. And you can use apps and stuff to track your water and I have tried this but honestly the novelty of that always wears off for me. I'll do it for a couple of days and then I get bored because I maybe don't have my phone on me or I just can't be bothered unlocking my phone, going into an app and tracking how much water I've drank. So using the bottles or glasses that I'm using to do it makes it so much easier. My third tip is to master the instigation habit. So your instigation habit is the thing you do before you do your actual habit. For example, putting workout clothes on before you go for a run or picking up your phone before you scroll through Instagram for two hours. My instigation habit for drinking two litres of water is filling up my glass and my bottle so that it's there and it's ready for me just to drink from. Every night before I go to bed, I fill up a glass of water and I put it on my bedside table so it's there for me to drink from the next morning. If that wasn't there, I probably wouldn't go to the kitchen to get it, especially first thing in the morning when I'm still tired. And then when the kettle's boiling for me to make a cup of tea, that is when I will refill my bottle and that will make a bit more sense in one of the tips later in the video. But that is my instigation habit, to fill my glass of water before bed and my bottle basically whenever the kettle is boiling. The next tip is to keep your bottle with you at all times. On days that I don't drink enough water, this is usually the reason why, because I forgot to take it with me. If you're working at your desk, put your water bottle on your desk. If you are in the living room watching TV, you put your bottle on the coffee table. If you're leaving the house, take it with you. Having it in front of you or having it on you is going to remind you every time you look at it that you're supposed to be drinking that water. And it's much more likely that you're going to drink the water than if the bottle is still in the kitchen. 
but definitely when you leave the house make sure you take it with you because that is probably the number one way to slip up when you're trying to drink water is not having any water to drink my next step is to pair drinking water with something you want to do right now you probably don't crave a glass of water very often but to build it into a habit you need to have some kind of craving to encourage you to actually follow through and do it the second part of the habit stacking formula from Atomic Habits is really helpful for this. After you drink a glass of water, you will insert something that you really want. And of course, I filled that blank with a cup of tea. After I finish my glass or my bottle of water, I will drink a cup of tea. If you drink a lot of tea or a lot of coffee, this is a really good way of getting yourself to drink more water. You can still have your coffee, but only after you finish the amount of water that you're supposed to be drinking right now. This was one of the main things that helped me to drink more water because I wanted my cup of tea. But fill that blank with whatever makes the most sense for you. If you're not a tea or coffee drinker, then maybe it's more, maybe it's a can of cola, maybe it's food, maybe it's something completely different, but pairing it with something that you actually crave and you actually really want is going to help you to actually build the habit because it's very unlikely, especially when you're starting out, that you're going to crave a glass of water. The next tip is to have a specific reason why you're trying to drink more water. You've always known it's good for you, so that's probably not a good enough reason. It's probably not going to be motivating enough to get you to actually drink it. But it might be that you want to try and clear up your skin, you've been having a lot of breakouts and you want to try and drink more water because you've heard that that will help clear it up. Or maybe you've been struggling to concentrate so you want to drink more water to try and help you focus more. Or maybe you feel like you've not got a lot of energy and you want to drink more water to feel more energised. Have something in mind that's going to give you that little bit of motivation when you just don't want to drink water and you don't really see the point, just kind of remind yourself like, no, I'm doing this because I want this. And the last tip is to use a habit tracker. Every time you hit your water goal for the day, mark it on your habit tracker. As more days go by and you see all the days that you've crossed off, you're gonna be more motivated to keep going and it's gonna show you that you are someone who prioritizes their health, you are someone who is making a real effort to drink enough water to take care of their body. And the more days that you cross off, you're not going to want to break that streak and you're not going to want to miss a day. And before you know it, it's going to be a habit that you don't even really need to think about. Sometimes you will miss a day and that is completely okay, but try to stick to the two day rule, which is you don't miss two days in a row. So these are all the tips that helped me go from being someone who didn't drink any water at all to drinking at least two liters of water every day. If you have any tips that have helped you drink more water, make sure you leave them in the comments below so we can help each other out. And while you're there, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And other than that, I will see you in the next video.